Hey, Memory Masters, here I am again, Mrs. Memory. But I'm a Doubting Thomas like the rest of you, so who the heck is Andrea Lee Zach O'Faro, and why the heck should you listen to me about memory? Well, let's dive in. Um, I am, as you know, married to Dave Faro, the Guinness record holder for greatest memory, having memorized the exact order of 59 decks of playing cards randomly shuffled together. And I did learn that this is a set of skills that he learned at the library from ancient Greek times, pre-literate, pre-written uh, word cultures use memory techniques to remember information and pass it down generation to generation. So we learn these things at the library. People invariably use them over time. Uh, John F. Kennedy uh, apparently uh, was able to remember a bunch of things and scan all the newspapers with speed reading and like monks and priests and, and rulers in the Middle Ages would use mnemonic techniques, memory techniques to remember all their information. Uh, Alexander the Great reportedly knew all of his names of all of the army members because he used these techniques from being taught from the ancient Greek sources um, that we know these from. So my point is, I'm married to this day of Pharaoh guy. He learned these things from the library, okay? So anybody can learn these things. He's not some rain man. He's not special, although he's really smart and I love him. He, he isn't anything super genius that anybody else can't achieve because his memory techniques are something that everybody can use. Even neuroscience right now, I'm not trained in neuroscience, by the way, but I, I follow things and I study things in the field of memory. And where all the emerging neuroscience research also says that the brain encodes and stores memory information in, in visual ways. We have visual flashes of memories, it's stored. We, sometimes we can't tell the difference between a real memory and an imagined thing. And there's lots of journals and, and research papers about how memory can, memories can be false or real or different from different people because they, uh, they remember something from a different angle. Anyway, I'm going on and on and on and on about neuroscience and history um, of memory, all because I was, uh, I'm saying that I'm married to this day, guy named Dave Farrow. Okay, well, here's what I can do. I'm a trained teacher. I was able to go through Teachers College in Ontario, Canada, and I'm capable of teaching en français, French, and I'm able to teach history. I'm pretty smart, so I think I can teach a lot of other subjects too, including memory. Now, when I was a practicing teacher, in the Grand Erie District School Board. I was a substitute and I actually loved it because I could float around like Miss Frizz to like different classrooms all the time. And every time I went into the classroom, if there was work, we'd do the work. And if there wasn't, well, I'd be like, well, have you heard of this guy named Dave Farrow and memory techs, techniques? And all the kids would be like, what? And I'd be like, well, let me tell you more. So I would teach the most basic linking technique principle, linking one thing to another in a visually mnemonic way stored in your brain, the hippocampus, so that you can remember it both short-term and long-term, okay? So I would go to say Judy Schomberger's class at Delhi District Secondary School one time, teach the kids a random list of random items, usually 17 to 21 items long. That's three times the standard average memory recall for doctors cognitive testing. And then say a month or even two months later, I would go back to that same classroom. Hi, Judy Schumberger. I actually really love you, so I'm mentioning you. Um, and the kids, the first thing they did when they saw that Ms. Zackle was back in the classroom, a couple of them that really, really, really saw the memory techniques and loved them would come up excited to my desk and say, Ms. Zackle, Ms. Zackle, I still remember that list. And they'd go into rattling off the items. So I know from history and neuroscience that memory works. I know from being an active practicing teacher in a high school class, in many high school classrooms, Leanne Shear at Valley Heights, yep. Um, uh, Sandy Sinden, yep, also French. I'm mentioning French teachers because I love them. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm forgetting a lot of them, but my point is, yes, I taught in these schools kids gravitate towards these techniques. It helps the kids that are already struggling and behind. And I'm also a mom. And I've taught these things to my eight-year-old. He's eight now, but I've taught these things to him as well. And he regularly actively uses things. The other day he tried using the explosion hand technique to remember where he said his toys so he wouldn't forget it, coming back to it later. 
These are all things that you can cognitively do about your brain, with your brain, to remember more with greater ease and banish brain fog. This is not rocket science. This is just how your brain works. And I happen to have had a really good training course with my husband all these years, 18 years almost, learning as a teacher what this can do for you. And the only reason I left teaching in that one school board, in that one province of Canada, was because I knew that memory could help so many more individuals across the world even. And I could make a bigger impact working with Dave as a memory expert. And you know what? That's why you should listen to me. If you haven't heard good evidence already, well, what more do you want? Ask me any questions. Shoot me your questions. How do you remember this? How do you remember that? What's your speaking fee? Can Dave come to my college or my corporation? Can Andrea, Mrs. Memory, come to my college or my corporation? Whatever it is. You want to remember the periodic table? I'm going to post some more vids this week on periodic table elements because I know high school exams are approaching in Ontario, Canada. I'm Mrs. Memory, and I just want you guys to know that I'm here for your memory needs. This is why you should listen to me. This is who I am. Uh, I'm sure I'll babble on a lot more. I like to do a couple quick vids and then longer vids. And I might even do some really longer nerdy history ones too that pertain to how we remember information over time. Uh, but all that and more on Mrs. Memory's Classroom. I'm Andrea Lee Zach the Mrs. of Memory. Till next time, Memory Masters.